Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy, and today I have a really cute tower pinwheel card for you. And um, with today's card, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of some of the products from this mini catalog. Now, the mini catalog is really August through December, so it you can order out of this August 3rd. You should have gotten yours in the mail. If you didn't get one and you want one, be sure and let me know, and um, I'll send you one. But like I said, this catalog goes live August 3rd, and don't forget that we're having a second celebration. So if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up! Celebration, everything in this catalog you can't order. It's like a reward. You do a qualifying order on Stampin' Up! and you get rewarded through Celebration, and that's just August and September. But anyway, so let me show you some sneak peek of products that we're going to use on today's card. And this is the Jolly Wishes stamp set and the Be Jolly stamp set. Now when these, I think these two pair <laughs> really nicely together and they're they're really cute. So those are a couple stamp sets we're gonna use. And then the designer series paper that we're gonna use is a return from last year. It's called the um, Heartwarming Hugs designer series paper. And um, I use this color scheme from the designer series paper so it has the mossy metal pear pizzazz real red and whisper white so that's the color scheme of my card that we're going to make too but let me show you i think this paper's real i don't have all of them here though because this is last year's pack and i used a bunch of it but you can see it just has some fun kind of patterns there's nothing it doesn't coordinate with the stamp set or anything like that but i do love this paper okay so let me show you the card it fits in an envelope. It's called the Tower Pinwheel. I think I've said that. And look, it kind of reminds me of the Never Ending card. And I've done some research on it to see exactly what's the easiest way to make it because I've seen it made several ways. I've even seen a six-sided pinwheel card. I've seen, uh, like I said, I've, I researched it and I've seen a bunch of them. The way demonstrators can decorate these things is amazing. If you get a chance, you should go out there and look at some of the other ways that um, demonstrators have made them. But like I said, I'm gonna, I think that this way that I'm gonna show you today is the easiest for me. So let me show you, I've done a lot of the prep work in advance. I'm gonna tell you what I used to do it. So here I stamped, and these are just basic white. They're um, four inches by two and a half. And for the greetings, I've used Mossy Meadow. So I said that's all the color of the designer series paper. And then for all the image, I just stamped them in Memento Black because I colored them with just a bunch of blends. Now, if you want all those colors and stuff, you can go to my blog. I'll have the colors and ink pads that I use so you know. And then I did take Wink of Stella and put it on his hat and like on below his belt, the furry parts of him. I used the Wink of Stella. I don't think you can see that on the um, video here. And I did try this shimmery crystal effects. Now I haven't used this very much and I think it's something that I'm gonna play with some more so I can master it. But I took the um, shimmery wink of, or crystal effects, sorry, shimmery crystal effects and I put it like on the bulbs of the tree here and the little star and nope, the bird has wink of Stella on him. But there's all the pieces that I've already done. And then my um, card stock here, I have two red and two green, just because I'm making it very Christmassy. Real red pear pizzazz, more colors for my designer series paper. These are four and a fourth by um, two and three fourths. And you'll notice here that if you put them together, it's the exact size of a regular card. That's how come the um, pinwheel card fits in the envelope, okay? So you need two, we really need four of them, and I did two of each color. And then I have four pieces here, <coughs> excuse me, of designer series paper. This is four inches by one and a half. We're just going to use that to kind of decorate the card a little bit. And then this is the most important piece. Now this is what I'm going to call the tower. This is just a piece of designer series paper. Through my discovery, I think it's best to use designer series paper for the tower because it's thin. And now 
uh, well, so I'll go back. So some demonstrators cut their tower at four and a fourth by four. Now I've cut mine here at four and a fourth by four and a half. And then that just gives me a little bit extra to put my adhesive on. Now I want to warn you when you score it, you got to make sure that the four and a half inch is at the top. If you score it at the four and a fourth, then it's not going to fit right. So make sure that you have the four and a fourth up here. And then, like I said, we're going to just take, <coughs> dang it, and score our paper at one inch all the way across. And I'm going to use the big knob of my stylus because it's designer series paper. And so it doesn't cut through it. But like I said, just every inch, that's one, two, three, and at four. And we have it like that. Okay. So now we're going to take this piece here. And I'm going to decide, I think I want this part to show here on the inside. You probably, yeah, there, that's a better, see how it shows on here? So I'm going to make sure that when I fold my card, I'm going to have that on the ends or on the inside. Yeah. Hope that made sense. But I'm going to score really good on, or fold really well on those score lines. This one. And I'm making sure that the sides of my designer series paper line up so we don't have any hanging off the edge there. Okay, so now it's gonna look like this and it makes a little four-sided cube, I guess you'd call it. Okay, so then on this um, fold line here, this the half inch fold line, I'm gonna just take some stamp and seal can't tape and think at the same time and put some there. I'm going to fold this over and stick it down. It works out just right like that. Now what this is not going to be seen at all. So if it's not straight, if it's not perfect, oh well, it doesn't matter. We just need it into a cube. In fact, I'm going to take it now and make sure that it folds all four sides. And then if it's not straight or perfect anyway, this would get rid of all those and it's gonna work really nicely when we put our pinwheel card together. So now look, it folds nicely, just like that. Okay, so whoops, I should have put, let me hurry and put these pieces on to my cardstock here. So I decide I'm gonna put Santa on red. There we go. Whoop. I really like these fancy fold cards like this, but if they're too much work, they're just not my thing. I am a simple, fast stamper, normally, and so um, if I can find an easy way to do a fold card like this, that's what I like to do, and that's what I'm gonna share with you now. Okay, so then these two, I'm going to put on the green. And that's the little slate, whoop, gotta put my bird and my star up here so I don't lose them. I really wish you could see that shimmery crystal effects on those ornaments. It does look really cute. Kind of gives it a little bit of character there. Got that one on there. And let's put this on there. So I would consider this, this is the front of my card. I like this greeting for the front of my card. So I'm going to find, first of all, Ooh, I did this one really well. Here's my seam that I put the two pieces together. I'm gonna put it on the back. And I don't even know if that matters, but that's what I like to do, so that's what I'm doing. But on this one rectangle right here, I'm going to put tape down this side, just because I can see. And then on this side, I'm gonna put tape or adhesive or tape run or whatever. And I'm not sparing the adhesive and I'm gonna put it like that. Now, I'm gonna open this up this way just so I can see the edge of my paper here, and I'm gonna line up this edge with this edge with no border. I don't want any border on there, so I'm gonna get it lined up as perfect as I can, top to bottom, and this side. And I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead, keep our fingers crossed that I got that right at the edge. And it looks like that. Okay, and I think I did pretty good. I'm going to kind of varnish that, make sure that's nice and stuck down. And then I'm going to just go with the red one. Now, I want 
this one next and I'm going to go backwards for some reason. I found that easier for me. Now this part here, I'm just going to cover it with adhesive. And really you could use any adhesive. I'm going to make sure I get close to the edge over here just so it's stuck down really well. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to line that edge up so it's there's no border there and make sure it lines up straight down here and then put that down. So there we go. We have the front now and then we have what I would call the last one or the back. And I'm going to just keep going around. I'm going to put some adhesive on this now. And I'm going to cover it, make sure I get some at the top there. I kind of missed. And close to the edge over here. I'm not sparing the adhesive. And I'll put my little tree on here. And now it's getting easier to see because you have this background. But I'm going to put it down the same way. No border. Line it up from side to, or the top and bottom with the other ones. And put it like that. So far so good, right? And then the last one. We'll just cover this up and then put the little Santa Claus right here, lining everything up. It all looks straight and like that. And that right there is really the pinwheel card. Look how easy that was. And now if you're opening your card and it's making some noise, you've got to scoot these over a little bit because that means you've gotten past, you've gone past the edge and it's kind of getting stuck. But if you take your time and put them down, look how cute that is. Okay, so let's take this designer series paper. I'm going to just put, whoop, a little, <laughs> I'm going to try, there we go, a little bit of adhesive here. And then these fit right here on that side. Like I said, we have four of them. Let me throw those on there really quick. And then while I'm here on the tree, I'm going to just take a simple glue dot and take my little star here. And add that to the top of my tree. Now there's no die for this set, so I took all these pieces and I ran them through my brother Scan and Cut. My brother Scan and Cut's my buddy. He cuts out this set really nice. Although fussy cutting's fun too, and it wouldn't be that hard to fussy cut them. And I'm gonna lay this one here. Now on this one, I'm gonna take a spot of glue and I'm gonna put it right here in Santa's hat. And then I have these itty bitty little pom-poms. I'm going to get out two because we're going to put on both other hats. There we go. And just stick it right down there on that spot of glue. Count to 20. Yeah, too impatient for that. I'll just make sure I put it flat this way so it'll hold it down for me. Here, I'm going to take this little bird here with another glue dot. And put him so he's standing right here on our sleigh. And then, last one here. Oh, and I missed a paper. I'll have to go back and find it. I'm going to try a glue dot. Let's see if we can put our pom-pom on with a glue dot so we don't have to wait for drying time. I've always used glue for the pom-poms and never glue dots, but I bet you it's going to work. Let's put a little glue dot right here. And that other pom-pom. Okay. Oh, yeah, worked out perfect. So let's see where I missed that paper. Oh, right here. Put one more of these. So really, I call this one a pinwheel card, but to me, it's not even a card. It's more like a decoration. I didn't leave any room for a signature or for signing, but look how cute that would be sitting on a coffee table or a, so maybe you drop a note with just a little tag that says Merry Christmas I made this for you and I think when they're this simple you might be able to get a bunch of them done for Christmas cards I can't stop playing with it look how cute that is love this stamp set well both of them so let me show you a couple other ones that I've done with the pinwheel cards so I was I do a swap with my team 
This is another sneak peek of product from the mini catalog. This is called Cute Halloween. And I think I used the whole suite. Well, maybe not the ribbon, but we have the cute little um, stars that are like sequins. We have the designer series paper. And of course the stamp set. And look how cute this one is. Now this one, oh, and I have a place for a um, gift card. So there's a little pocket here and you could put a little gift card in there and look how cute. Now this one, I have a place where you could sign your name. I think I'm gonna send this one um, to my granddaughters for Halloween. They live a couple hours away in this way, but look how cute that stamp set is. And then I have one more. Now, if you're part of my monthly club and you wanna be surprised, close your eyes, but this one's using the, um, whoops, and that's not the front. There's the front. The strawberry suite, or the strawberry bundle, and look how cute this one is. There's your place for your gift card. And look at you there. Just some of this black and white paper. That's from the um, Hostess Designer Series paper that's black and white on the back side. And that strawberry with the punch and some poppy parade, um, daffodil delight. And then of course you gotta put those little red rhinestones right there in the center. So there you go. So there's my take on a pinwheel card. I, at first I thought they'd be really complicated. They are really fun to make and they don't take very long. The funnest thing about them is you're trying to decorate them all. So thanks for watching. If you like the Stampin' Up! products, be sure and visit my online store. I'll put it in the description below. Have a good one. Bye-bye.